So recently I have been doing a bunch of writing um, in Nashville actually. Uh, my f pretty much my first experience doing co-writing because for the first album, Take Me Home, and the second album, Push, um, I did all the writing myself. So it's, I think it's kind of backwards for me because I think a lot of writers, you know, that's the first thing they do. They go in, you know, they do co-writing and then they try writing on their own, but it's kind of backwards for me. So it's been an interesting experience because, you know, you kind of you go in and um, most of the time it's someone I don't even know, you know, and you kind of you pour your soul out to this person in like whatever, three hours. But I have found that it is amazing how fast some of these people can just like help you like whip out songs. Like uh, one of the songs I just did called Typical, it, we did it like wrote it and then recorded a demo with like full instruments and all that and vocals in three hours, which is like something I never thought possible. But apparently they do it in Nashville. So um, yeah, it's been a really cool experience and hopefully I'll have a bunch of new songs and an album on the way. I am a huge advocate of journal entries and journal writing. Um, I've, I've always kind of known that it was a good thing, but I've really started doing it more now because I find that when I sit down to write a song, even if I just like open up a page in my journal, like s almost always something pops out at me that I, I won't necessarily like use that line, but it'll spur ideas and things like that. Um, and so that's definitely a big part of my writing process. Um, Always the tape recorder too because I have a memory like a goldfish. <laughs> I'll like I'll sing something and I'll forget it. So uh, that's very key, uh, the tape recorder, and um, and yeah. And I just one thing that I've really learned in the whole co-writing thing is just how to be more free. I think when I'm writing because you have to be free when you're co-writing because if you're too self-conscious about, you know, is this idea good, you know, should I really say this, then nothing's going to come out. So you just have to kind of put yourself out there and let your ideas flow more freely. I'd give up everything for your touch. I never knew. 